most often when I post a video or I fly the drone, people keep complaining me, your road videos that you are doing, there are no enough trees on the road. People need to plant trees. I could see that you people are more concerned in the growth of this country in terms of tree planting. And it's something that we all know that beautifies the country. So last year, the government of Ghana initiated Green Ghana, which the whole country planted um, 5 million trees. This year, the government of Ghana decided to increase this tree planting exercise from 5 million to 20 million tree planting. And it was such a great exercise. So I did a little documentary on what went on in the Accra Zoo at the Achimota Forest. And today's video, I'm here to share that documentary with you. I pray you guys love this video and enjoy it. And please, don't forget to let me know what you think about this video we are going to watch and comment in the comment section. If this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe, like, you know, share this video to someone. Let's share the message out there. A lot of people don't really know how important it is for us to plant trees. And there's a schoolboy in this documentary and I love what he said. But please be patient and watch this video. Thank you so much. My name is Nia A.K. Ganyobi, the guy who tells stories from Ghana. I'm a drone pilot, I'm a photographer, I'm a filmmaker. And if you need my service, don't forget to check my content and follow me. So let's go enjoy this video and I'll see you at the end of it all. My name is Prosper Dukusi. I'm from Volta region, but I work with National Information Technology Agency. Uh, we've all heard about this uh, very important national assignment about greening our environment. So we too, as an entity or an agency of the government, we also deem it uh, very viable to join this uh, train so that we also come for some of the seedlings to help greening our environment and also our uh, area of uh, working. That is why we are here precisely. Uh, my name is Sandra Kisi. I'm a proprietor, I have a school. I'm a lover of trees as well. So when we had information of this upcoming planting of trees, yeah, I came for some favorite ones to grow, beautify the school and also some orange plants and stuff. We'll get some orange and lemons and stuff. So that's why I'm here this morning. What do you want? Yeah, I need orange. Orange? Orange is lovely. Orange, let me give you one, okay? Well, these are the ones we need. Okay. Okay. I need. This one? These are teddy trees. Yes, please. These are teddy trees and then uh, these are um, Joshua Park. My name is Aja Wanda. I'm a head teacher at Taifa Girls Day School. As we visited the zoo today, and then we saw that there was a, a great work going on over here. As you all know that the tree is very important in our life, especially this rainy season. When the wind comes, the tree saves us from not blowing out our houses and others. We are very happy and they thank the team who is working over here, devote themselves, that they should help us that no disaster will be affecting us by uh, the wind or any other things. We came for the Mahogany the coconut, the, there's one that is like a canopy, uh, mele, I can't recollect the name of it, but I think we came for four types of uh, seedlings, mainly, that's what we came for, yeah. 
tree planting is not only important to Ghana, but the world as a whole. I mean, trees are life. And as long as we are living, we need trees to live. You know, for nothing at all, we get food out of it. We breathe good air from trees. And we get protected in so many ways that we don't know. There's a reason why God made them. So they are important in our lives. So we can never throw trees away. I mean, I believe that in every household, if you want to beautify it with all your towels and everything, please plant one tree there. It could be shade for you. Yeah. And my advice is that if you don't know, learn. Because there's a learning process for everybody. That's why we go to school. Learn. Plant a tree in your house. It will help you. If it is not a fruit tree that you benefit from it, shade. It will keep your house cool so you stop turning on air conditioners all the time. You get somewhere to sit and socialize. So trees are life. So live life and let a tree live. Thank you. Oh, I think uh, it's not cumbersome at all. Uh, you come, there's a lady behind the table. You just go and write your name. Well, if you are coming from a company, you indicate, or you write, if you are coming personally, you write your name, your phone number, and then you sign. That's all. And the siblings are giving to you. So there's no problem in issuing out the siblings at all. Yeah. I think it is a very good initiative. Because some of us who came from villages, when you visit your village and you see this greenish environment, you love to be, be there. And we can't see some in Accra. So when we all take part in this activity, we all feel comfortable. Because when the trees are around you, you, you feel that, uh, you, you, you feel healthy. And then it, it also adds up to our, our, the growing process. Let me, let me put it like that. Or the stages in our life, it adds up to our stages in life because we get oxygen from, from the trees. So I think when we have it around us, it, it all benefits all of us. Hi, I'm Eunice. I'm from Vedant Global Business Solutions. We are an HR consulting firm located at Achimota near Kantanka showroom. And I'm an HR officer there. We assist with recruitment, HR outsourcing, it, we do trainings as well. We are here today at Achimota Forest to participate in the Go Green Ghana. So we are here to pick up some seedlings and plant in our neighborhood and plant some in our offices to help with Go Green Ghana campaign. My name is Ekem Sawanu Dufa. I'm actually with Vedan Global Business Solutions. We are glad to be part of this. I mean, going off, uh, I mean, in terms of the forestation project that is being undertaken by government, and we are, we are happy to be here. I, I believe it's, 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 the right, it's a step in the right direction because, uh, I mean, years to do this was actually 20 years ago. And if we actually find it uh, worthy to start doing something in terms of our uh, green, keeping off our green nature and then our forest reserves, then it's, it's, not, it's not actually no far fetch. This is the time. We can't wait for another 20 years. Believe you me, I mean the generations to come will, will probably come around and then be thinking, what did we guys do? And so if we are planting for them, it is a step in the right direction. My only prayer is that we wouldn't end up, I mean, I mean end up selling it when we, we have actually done a lot of the plantation. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, to keep the nature for our generations to come. Believe you me, I, I know this will go a long way to help our in the afforestation project we want as a country. Oh, I think uh, I will invite all and sundry who are interested in this agenda. They should come. The trees are there, free of charge. They should come and take as much as they want and go and plant in their various areas of our boat. So thank you so much. I'm very grateful. Okay, so Vedan Global is actually participating in this because we are actually citizens. 
And believe you me, we can't sit on the fence and then be watching that oh, other people should go plant. That's why we've actually taken the bold step to also join the masses, join the government, join everybody actually uh, in the country to help in the project. So it's not probably for any special reason, but because of the citizenship responsibility, Vedan Global is here uh, to contribute or to partake in this to help uh, in the afforestation project, please. My advice to you guys, everybody, for those watching, and then uh, if you are not participating, we understand probably where you are, you could not participate because you not get the seedlings. But if you've gotten it, you've planted. If you've heard that there's a project like this, please let us be citizens. Uh, if it is in your area that you find these trees, I mean, try to help it grow by also watering it. I mean, contribute a quota. If it is in the area where probably you see fire catching up with this, some of these plantations. We pray that you try to, I mean, bring in a little bit of fire breaks to help salvage these trees. So it's a responsibility for us, those planting, after planting, it's also hard to keep it for the generation to come. So let us all contribute to our quota in helping preserving this afforestation project that we want to do. Green Ghana, it's a mass do initiative. My name is Daniel Fori. I'm a senior physics teacher at Kimbu Senior High Technical School. I came here to pick up some trees for planting in our school environment. For myself, um, I think we need to green the place. Um, a lot of structures, uh, we are not getting our natural environment anymore. So when we plant trees like this, we get shade, we get shed, and it also enables us to get some you know, species that we learn it with, with, with them in the classroom. Green Ghana project is a good project because as you can see the whole world is going green and we are fast developing and if we don't take care we're going to cut down most of our greens and then make way for artificial you know, environments which is also not good for us because you've heard something about climate change. These are all factors that cause climate change to take a toll on our land. So if we have seen that green is the way to go, I think it's the best. And that's why I'm here personally to support it. So we have come in for Mahogany and then uh, uh, the Royal, uh, uh, Royal Palm, or, or they call it visual or something, right? And then um, a Tree of Life. But we didn't get the Tree of Life from here, we got it from the park, parks and gardens. We have about um, roughly about 87 trees because I got 40 from Park and Gardens and I've added 40 here. Okay. Yeah, 47 here. So what is your final advice to people watching, especially you being a teacher? Yeah. What will you tell students? Yes, that is why you could see in the car, I have students in the car. I personally brought them to um, see the relevance of this day and to encourage them also wherever they are to plant. It's not only green Ghana today that you need to come for trees, but if they can even nest seedlings and find tree branches somewhere, they can put it in the soil, it will grow and it will become a big tree and help the environment in future. My name is Emmanuel Nukweza. I'm a student of Kimu Senior High School. I'm in Form 1 and the course I do is metal work. When we were called to come here, I was feeling shy about when I came here, I'm happy that I've seen a lot of trees that I haven't seen before. First, I, I don't know much about trees, but I've, I've heard names of the trees. Like some are called tree of life, and you, you are here to take one. I will tell my colleagues that God created tree before He created mankind, so we should not cut down trees, but rather plant them to beautify the land and to bring them fresh air to them. My final word is that we shouldn't cut down our forests, we shouldn't destroy our forests, we shouldn't sell our forests. You see, the forests, they are like, you see, they are trash rain for us. And so if we destroy them, virtually we are destroying ourselves. It shouldn't be so. And we should all be conscientized that green is the way forward. Green energy, everything green. 
and that is what will sustain our life here on it. Welcome back. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I know you are smiling. I know you guys are really happy. Um, but I, that's what I'm guessing. But I'll be so much glad if you comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the video. And it wasn't a really planned documentary. But because of you guys, I decided to make it a little documentary for you guys to enjoy. And I'll try my best to be able to do more documentary videos on my channel for you guys to know exactly what is going on here in Ghana. You can also comment in the comment section, let me know the kind of videos you want me to do or the kind of video you want me to do a documentary on. And please don't forget to support this channel by subscribing and like, share and give us a thumbs up. I love you guys until then I see you on my next episode. My name is Nia aka Ganyubi, and it is my responsibility, as I always say that, in case you decide to come to Africa, it is my responsibility to convince you to choose Ghana because Ghana is a beautiful country, a very peaceful country. I'll see you on my next episode. See ya. Peace out.